Hello and welcome to TL Yarn Crafts TV. I'm super excited to have you with me for this how to make perfect beaded tassels tutorial. I'm super excited to bring this to you because I've had a lot of projects recently that included tassels and I want to show you exactly how I make mine. You're going to want to start with some yarn, a hardback book. I like to use something probably about six inches long. You'll want some sharp scissors, a metal darning needle, and optional are some cute wooden beads. I'll be using those today. So we're going to start by taking our working yarn and cutting one long length of it. We'll be using that later to tie up the tassel, so you'll just want to cut a nice long length and put it to the side. Next up, we're going to take some yarn and we're going to wrap it around the book, kind of starting at the bottom and wrapping it fairly loosely around the book, not too tight. Keep track of how many loops you make because if you're going to be making more than one tassel, you'll want them to be even. And just keep going until you get to a thickness that is comfortable for you. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm making a pretty thin one, but I usually like my tassels pretty thick. <laughs> Once you're done, cut that yarn. And you'll want to grab your metal darning needle and the yarn that you cut earlier and thread that through the needle. Take that yarn and thread it through one of the little grooves on the book near the top of the tassel. And then you're going to kind of shimmy that yarn up to the top and double knot it. Make sure that knot is very secure because this is what's going to hold the entire tassel together. And don't worry too much about what this looks like right now. That's why I grabbed the beads because we'll be covering this knot up. So before we slip the loops off of the book, we're actually going to cut the tassel. I like to do it this way because then for the most part, the tassel stays about the same length, but we'll even it up later as well. So we've got the makings of a tassel so far, but we wanna make it a little bit prettier. And the easiest way to do that is to grab a length of yarn kind of from the middle of the tassel and kind of pull that out to the side. Bring the tassel back together. Now take that length of yarn that you just pulled out and wrap it around the top of the tassel. You're about an inch down from the knot that you made at the top. Once you're at the end, grab another length of yarn from the tassel and double knot it with the yarn that you wrapped around the tassel. Again, don't worry too much about the knotting here. I've got a little technique to make sure that knot doesn't show too much either. Make sure the knot is nice and secure. And kind of freshen things up at the top. Right now I'm just pulling a couple lengths of yarn out to make sure everything looks nice and pretty. We're gonna grab our metal darning needle again and thread on the lengths of yarn that we used to make our knot just now. And we're actually going to thread them underneath the loops that we just made around the tassel and then down into the tassel. So it'll kind of disguise that we made a knot at all. Those ends will just kind of become part of the tassel. All right, so that bit of the tassel is done. Just kind of even out the ends, give it a little haircut. I just use it, I just do it on my hand. It's easier for me that way. But if you want to use your book or some kind of straight edge, like a ruler to even out your tassel, that's perfectly fine. And then my last step is I like to add the beads. So thread the yarn onto the needle, both lengths. and then thread the beads onto the needle down the lengths of yarn. And what's nice about doing it this way is the beads add a nice decorative accent, but they also cover up the knot that we made at the very top of our tassel. So it just makes for a prettier tassel, I think. And we're done, you've made a perfect beaded tassel. It's so pretty, I love it. Here's a quick pro tip to make your tassels even prettier. So you're done with your tassel, right? Looks great, but it's a little 
wonky. It's a little wrinkled. We'll want to kind of even that out a little bit. So I like to use this UR Power steamer. I got this off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. I'll put the link below, but you just kind of let it heat up. And then I run my tassels through the steam that comes out of the steamer. Be careful not to burn your fingers or like I did steam up your camera lens. <laughs> But just kind of let the yarn relax in front of the steam and it's just going to relax those fibers to kind of take some of the wrinkle out of your yarn. Now you've got nice pretty tassels that you can put onto any project that you make. This is the last step that I always do whenever I make tassels and I love how these turn out. <laughs> If you're ready to put all that tassel making to use, try the Free Yourself Shawl available at tlyarncrafts.com or try the Boardwalk Shawl available at tlycblog.com as a free pattern. Thanks so much for joining me for this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest.